Hello friends, so in today's question, a smooth pulley A of mass M0, so this is pulley A of mass M0, is lying on a frictionless table, a massless rope passes around the pulley, has masses M1 and M2 tied to its end, so these are two masses M1 and M2, the two portions of string being perpendicular to the edge of the table so that mass is vertical, so this pulley is horizontal and this it is lying on the face of the table and these two pulley, uh, these two masses are vertical with respect to the table we have to find out the acceleration of the pulley so this question let us say that mass m2 moves in upward direction by acceleration a2 and mass m1 moves in downward direction with acceleration a1 as this is a continuous string so we can say that here it will be a tension t here also t okay and this one will also, also t and this will be also t and we will say that this m0 mass is having an acceleration in this direction which is given as a0 so these are some things, variables that are associated with. So we can write that. Let acceleration of mass A naught is given as mass m0 is given as a0 mass m1 is given as a1 and mass m2 is given as a2 right so we are going to use the equation of the motion for the mass m1 and m2 as well as m0 okay we write equation of motion for first is m0 so we can say that here it will be tension will be additive so this will be 2t and which will be giving us m0 a0 for m1 okay. one thing more so there will be m1g in the downward direction for this and this will be for m2g So as m1 is moving in downward direction so we can write this as m1g minus t will be equal to m1 into a1 and for m2 it is moving in upward direction so we can write this as t minus m2g is equal to m2 a2 So let us call this as equation 1, 2 and 3. Next we are find, going to find out the constraint relationship between acceleration A1, A2 and A0. Okay. The constraint relation between A0, A1 and A2. So in order to find a constant constant relation, what we do, we find out the relationship with respect to their velocities 
and automatically that can be translated into the acceleration so let this be pulley A and we have two masses this is M2 and M1 okay. and for the simplification later on we can change this with respect to sign we say that this is moving in upward direction by A2 and this is also moving in upward direction by A1 sorry velocity so this is V2 and this is V1 so you can see that if pulley P pulley A rather if pulley A moves with a velocity of v naught and mass m2 with v2 and mass m1 with v1 so what we do we observe the motion of mass m1 and m2 with respect to pulley okay then then the motion of m1 and m2 with respect to pulley so if we define the motion of m1 and m2 with respect to pulley okay so we are going to write the equation relative to the pulley or we can say in the form of relative velocity then pulley a pulley a is at rest so we can define the relationship as v to a or rather v v to a is equal to minus of v1 a okay, it means relative velocity of pulley 2 uh, mass 2 with respect to a that is pulley a and this is relative velocity of mass 1 with respect to pulley a so we can just write this as v2 and va is equal to minus v1 minus va and velocity of pulley a is given as v0 okay so we write here but velocity of pulley is taken as v0 so we simply substitute the values we can write this as v naught is equal to v1 plus v2 divided by 2 so if we take first derivative we can directly write the relation for the acceleration we get a naught is equal to a2 plus a1 divided by 2 now the what we are going to do we are simply going to write it for according to their signs okay so for the 
therefore as per the given question we get a not is equal to a one minus a two divided by two. Okay, so it means we can simply say a one and a not are in the same direction. So we have in the downward direction we are taken as positive, and in the reverse direction we are taken as negative. So that's why a two is coming as negative. This can be written as twice a not a is equal to a one minus a two. Let this be question number four. So, from equation one, from equation one, we can write that our a not a is equal to two t divided by m not. From equation two, equation two, we can find our a one. So a one will be equal to m one g minus t divided by m one. Or this can be simplified as g t divided by m one. And from equation three, from equation three, we can write a two is equal to t minus m two g divided by m two, or this can be written as t divided by m two minus g. So substituting value of a not a one and a two in equation four. Substituting a not a one and a two in equation four, we get that two. Times two t divided by m not okay, is equal to g t divided by m one minus and a two is t m two minus g. So we can simplify this as. This will be four t divided by m dot is equal to this will be g and plus g. This will be two g and taking t as common, we are going to get one upon m one and plus one upon m two. Bringing combining these terms, taking t as common. We can say that two g t is common. We get four upon m not plus one upon m one plus one upon m two. From here, we can find out value of t. Okay, we take this as LCM. We get t is equal to this can be written as Twice m not m one m two divided by four times m one m two plus m not m one plus m two. Okay, we already get the value of the tension t, and we are supposed to find out. 
the acceleration of the pulley which is given as A0 okay. so we are going to use this equation let this be equation number 5 so we can write from equation 5 5 A0 is equal to 2 divided by M0 and get this as 2 m0 m1 m2 divided by 4 m1 m2 plus m0 m1 plus m2 so m0 m0 cancels out so we get acceleration of the pulley a0 as 4 m1 m2 divided by 4 m1 m2 plus m0 m1 plus m2 this is our final answer and this is nothing but acceleration of the pulley acceleration of the a. Thank you.